द नेक्स्ट क्लिनिकल इज हैमर टो नॉर्मली द इंटीरोसिस मसल एंड लम्बरिकल मसल कॉज ए सिलेक्शन एट मेटाडारसोफिलजल जॉइंट एंड एक्सटेंशन एट इंटरफिलजल जॉइंट नाउ द वीकनेस ऑफ इंटीरोसियस मसल एंड लम्बराइकल मसल कॉज इज प्रोक्सीमल फेलिंग्स टू टॉर्सी फेलिक्स एट मेटाटारसोफिलजल जॉइंट एंड द मिडल फ्लैक्स फेलिंग्स टू प्लॉन्टर फ्लैक्स एट इंटरफिलजल जॉइंट दिस वॉज द कंडीशन ऑफ हेमर टो विच अकर्ज ड्यूरिंग हेमर टो नाउ द नेक्स्ट कली निकल इज कलाटोज ड्यूरिंग दिस कंडीशन हाइपर एक्सटेंशन अकर एट मेडाटारसोफिलजल जॉइंट एंड फ्लैक्शन ऑफ डिजिटल इंटरफिलजल जॉइंट अकर्स कैलॉक्सीटीज पस फॉर्मेशन डिवेलप ऑन द डर्स सर्फेस ऑफ रोटोज because of pressure of shoe on the dorsal surface or on the dorsal surface of fingers and the callosity may also develop on the plantar surface of toe because of the pressure of the shoe now the next clinical is pespalinus means flat foot flat feet flat feet or normal at age 3 flat feet appearance on the plantar aspect of sole on the lot of respect of sole aspect of sole of foot is due to the maximum fate deposition on the plantar aspect of sole flat appearance of sole of foot is normal at a3 after a3 medial longitudinal arch is visible flat feet may be flexible or rigid either weight bearing or not or during weight is not bearing this was the condition pespalinus or flat feet now the next clinical is club foot or telepes equino veras in this condition a foot that is twisted out of position it involves a subtalar joint the foot is inverted the ankle is plantar flexed and the fore foot is adducted in this condition the deformity occurs the person bear weight on lateral surface of fore foot and it causes pain during walking the walking is very painful now the next clinical is march fracture in this condition occurs fracture of shaft of second third or fourth metatarsal bones it is called march fracture it occurs in or may personal policemen because they march very long distances because they march very long distances the cause of march fracture may be decalcification or vascular necrosis this was the condition march fracture 
now the next clinical is telepis calcaneus in this condition the foot is dorsiflexed the person walks on the heels the calcaneus means heel now the next clinical is telepis equinus equinus means toes or fingers toes or fingers and the previous previous condition the calcaneus means heel during telepis equinus equinus means toes or fingers fourth foot is the plantar flexed person walks on toes so equinus is associated with toes this was the condition telepis equinus now the next clinical is telepis varus varus means lateral border laterally during the telepis varus medial border of foot is raised person walks on lateral border of foot so varus is associated with lateral border laterally now the next clinical is telepis valgus valgus means medial border medial border in telepis valgus lateral border of foot is raised person walks on medial border of foot so medial border is associated with valgus now the next clinical is telepis calcaneo varus this can this clinical is a compound compound syndrome it is a compound combination of two clinical calcaneo means heel and varus means lateral border so it is telepis calcaneo varus in this condition a condition in which foot is plantar flexed and inverted having high medial longitudinal arch the person walks on walks on heel and lateral border of foot lateral border of foot so this was the telepis calcaneo varus now the next clinical is very very important it is the calf pump acting as a peripheral heart during straining venous return from legs mainly depends on the contraction of calf muscles this this, this is the calf muscle and this is the soleus muscle and this is the venous sinus venous sinus and this is the open venous valve and this is closed venous valve now the contraction of calf muscles causes venous return during straining these muscles are calf pump known as peripheral heart this is the soleus muscle when this muscle contracts the blood contained in large venous sinuses in this sinus blood is mm, when this muscle contracts blood contained in large venous sinus is pumped into deep veins the direction of blood is from superficial veins toward deep perforating veins toward deep veins and to the heart so in this condition soleus muscle is known as the peripheral heart this was the calf pump acting as peripheral heart now the next clinical is great saphenous vein graft great saphenous vein is located in front of medial malleolus and 
in front of the great saphenous vein is saphenous nerve it is great saphenous vein and it is great saphenous nerve great saphenous vein lies in front of medial malleolus the reasons for the great saphenous vein to be grafted are most it is most superficial it is easily available for surgeons to graft great saphenous vein is used for bypassing the blocked coronary arteries vein is reversed so that valves do not block the passage of blood so this, this this was the most important clinical and the great saphenous vein is mostly used for bypassing the blocked coronary arteries